The Seraflex Closure System from LifeTech Scientific is an innovative pre-mounted device. This movie provides information of Seraflex occluder and steer ease delivery system, components, preparation, as well as Seraflex ASD placement. For specific indications and instructions, please refer to the device manual for each device. The Seraflex occluder is a pre-mounted device. Each occluder is pre-connected to the cable and the loader in the device package. The Seraflex occluder is a self-expandable double-disc device made of nitinol wire mesh. All metallic structures are plated proprietary titanium nitride coating technology. It attributes to a softer occluder, which aids in maximum flexibility and conformability to patient's anatomy. Tests conducted have revealed 93% decrease of nickel release when compared to the uncoated occluders, which may also help to accelerate endothelialization. The elimination of the distal hub is designed to minimize the amount of material left on the disc and to avoid thrombotic complications. The Seraflex features a unique delivery system with 360-degree rotation. It allows for accurate occluder visualization and placement prior to release and minimizes unwanted drag or pull on the implant. Thus, once deployed, the occluder may be observed in final position in the septal wall before release. The Seraflex closure system also features the streamlined delivery handle design for quick and accurate deployment. The Seraflex occluders are available for treatment of ASD, MFASD, PFO, and PDA. To start preparation, flush the dilator and sheath with saline solution. Each Seraflex occluder package contains a pre-mounted occluder and delivery cable, hemostatic valve, loader, and handle. Carefully check to ensure the connection between the occluder and the delivery cable. Screw the loader into the hemostatic valve clockwise. Screw the seal cover of the hemostatic valve clockwise. Immerse the occluder into the saline solution. Gently shake the occluder. Flush the loader. In the meantime, flick or tap the loader as needed to move any air bubbles. Pull the device into the loader. Ensure the sheath, dilator, and occluder are all adequately flushed to eliminate air. Gently insert the occluder into the hemostatic valve of the steer ease delivery sheath. Gently loosen the hemostatic valve. Advance the delivery cable. When the occluder arrives at the defect, open the left atrial disc and waist in the left atrium and gently pull the device against atrial septum. Then, withdraw or pull the sheath back to deploy the right atrial disc. Ensure the device is placed properly. Finally, proper device placement must be confirmed with fluoroscopy and transesophageal echocardiography. If the physician is satisfied with the position in the septum, then release the device. To do this, use your index or forefinger to trigger the orange safety button. Then, while holding the orange safety button, pull back the blue release button to retract the device. Lastly, remove the delivery cable and sheath from the patient. 
while depressing the orange safe button and upon pullback of the blue button, a pin connected to the nitinol wire loop protracts, which release the occluder from the delivery device.